Hi, Travis Zimmerman here from Speak My Word Ministries. Today's Daily Pulse is about reading God's Word regularly and the joys of doing that. You know, the scripture I've picked is from the longest chapter in the Bible, 1,189 chapters. This is the longest one, and the verse is from 119, Psalm 119, verse 97. Oh, how I love your law. I meditate on it all day long. Psalm 119, verse 97. You know, the Bible, God's Word, is what God has intended for us to know about him. He's an infinite, infinite, infinite God, and yet he left a finite account of all that he wants us to know about him. And to know God, as I've shared in previous devotionals, we have to be with God. We have to be in his word. We have to know him. It's kind of like your wife. To know my wife, I have to date her and be with her and talk with her and share time with her, spend spend moments with her, thinking about her. And it's the same way, even more so, infinitely more so with our God. So one of the things I want to encourage you this year as you're coming up on December and we're getting ready to go into the new year of 2011 is, you know, it's time to start new habits, time to do new things, is picking a Bible that you'd like to read this year. And I want to encourage you and challenge you to see if you can read through the Bible this year. And there's obviously many, many options. The Bible is the number one best-selling book, not only just this year, but last year and all of all time. There's over six billion copies of the Bible sold. Praise Jesus for it. So I want to kind of give you some suggestions. The one I have here is a canonical Bible. And it goes from, when I say canonical, it's in, the, in order of the canon. It goes from Genesis to uh, uh, Revelation, all 66 books. And that's the standard form of the Bible. You know, another two versions I have here, and these are all in IV. I have a copy of uh, the Tyndale House's One Year Chronological Bible. I read this two years ago, and it's basically an unplugged version of the Bible. It doesn't have a lot of the study notes in it that my study Bible does, and it's, it's, it's a very pure rendition of God's Word. You know, it, it, when I say pure, I mean it doesn't have any of the, anything, you know, any of the notes cluttering it. You can just read through it and not be distracted. I get a lot of times distracted by the study notes that I find in, in this Bible. So that this is a good candidate, the One Year Chronological Bible by Tyndall House. I get nothing from them for, for pushing it. The one I'm currently reading is the Daily Bible by F. Dr. F. Lagard Smith. It's from Harvest House Publishing. And this chronological Bible, again, we don't know all the order that things happened, but basically uh, not only the Tyndall House Bible, but also the, the chronological both chronological Bibles, try to put them in the order they think that would happen. And some things are very easy to number. Some aren't. Uh, one of the benefits of the Chronological Bible, and the example I always use when I'm pushing it, <laughs> which is what I do as a sales guy, huh? is, you know, when you're reading about Saul pursuing King David, you know, you'll read about what's happening, but then they'll insert a psalm that David wrote while Saul was pursuing him, and, and it's like this back and forth that you you don't get in a in a canonical Bible. So again, this is this is a good version of the Bible. So my last question to you here, and you can respond as you as you like. I would like for feedback. I have notes that I take on both these Bibles and the Bibles that I read every year, and God has given me thousands of them. It's, it's a blessing that he's given me. If you'd like to go through the Bible with me on a daily basis, let me know. And I was thinking about producing a, a second daily pulse that would just go through the chronological Bible uh, one more time and just share some insights. I mean, the, the goal isn't to share insights from me to you. The goal is for the Holy Spirit to open his open his insights and give this to you as you read God's Word because that's the whole point. To be in God's Word and to know God is just to spend time with Him. And, and reading through the Bible, coast to coast as they say, it is such a blessing. So let me know your thoughts on that. Pray on it. And Jesus, thank you for your holy word. We love you and we praise you. Amen.